This is a video on how to relocate the cowl drain holes inboard on a Fisker Ocean to prevent water from draining down onto the frame rail and into the front bumper and also to prevent water from draining out laterally. You'll need a plug. I'll put the description for this below. You'll need some RTV silicone. I used Permtex Ultra Black, which is very robust and should work fine. You'll need something to slightly round out the existing drain hole so the plug can fit in the center of it. And then you'll need a three millimeter drill. Uh, this is a seven millimeter. I used a uh, chuckable bit here, um, hex head bit on an extender just to make it easier to get in there. And I used a nut driver rather than an actual drill. Um, you do need to clean things up uh, prior. So I just used a toothbrush and I used some painter's tape just to protect the area. Um, you'll need a variety of other uh, tools. A paring knife from your kitchen will work excellent and your spouse will be very happy you use that. But uh, basically you'll, you'll just need a uh, small file for uh, making the new slot and for rounding out the, uh, the old hole. If the drill didn't do a great job, you can just um, you know, use a file to slightly round it out a little further and then just something to press with current solution to keep water from running down the fender support rail when it goes to the outside of this seam is to place a barrier in the rail and prevent water from flowing forward onto the electrical connectors. So this is the same barrier on the left side and it does keep uh, water from flowing down the support rail. But the problem is the water is directed out laterally and it may still end up on the charge port. So my premise is that by relocating the cowl drainage holes inboard it will not drain to the outside of that lip and then go down the outside of the frame rail. This is a water test in the left lateral cowl and this is what you see the water is flowing down on that little lip inside the body and a lot of it is going down into the normal drainage pathway but a lot of it is also going uh, over the far side. You can see it, it's going over towards the charge port. I applied Ultra Black Gasket Maker to the uh, inside of the grommet. I placed a little bit of Gasket Maker down in the hole in the surrounding area before I put the um, the silicone plug in there just to make sure the undersurface of the hole was uh, coated as well. Uh, but the, um, the plastic plug or the rubber plug seems to conform pretty well. Uh, you may not even need to drill a hole in the center of the slot. The, the plug will push in fairly easily um, and it seems to stay pretty secure. I made the new drain hole approximately two centimeters inboard of where the old drain hole would have been. I drilled three millimeter holes, then cut the plastic out between the outer holes um, with a, just a razor blade. And then I just used a file to just kind of file it smooth. Um, and that's the result. And I'm sure there'll be a little bit of water pooling because there's a little bit of a depression. So I found that water was overflowing the cowl even despite uh, moving the drainage uh, inboard. Um, so I extended the slot quite a bit. I also uh, moved the slot a little further inboard. You can see there's a little plug um, on the inside of the slot that I made. So the distance uh, inboard needs to be an inch and a half, otherwise it still somewhat spills onto that um, little seam underneath. At, at this point, it's uh, really in good shape. There's, there's no problems, it's not draining laterally, uh, but the problem is, is the cowl can still overflow uh, with heavy rainfall, uh, which probably doesn't happen that often. There's, there's probably a point of diminishing returns and making this, um, you know, massively large. Okay, this is a water cowl test. Uh, the water is filling up uh, the side of the cowl and it's spilling over the side. Um, so it's flowing pretty good in here, uh, but the good news is the water appears to not go out laterally. Um, you can see the new hole right there, 
and it's falling to the inside there. Uh, that lip that's sort of right in the center of behind the water flow is the lip that it used to hit. Despite the water hitting the back of the strut tower, there doesn't appear to be any water that's spilled over uh, forward on this side. Uh, the left side has been um, moved in quite a bit. Um, it's probably about an inch and a half uh, inward from the, uh, the old opening. Um, I also extended it quite a bit. It's probably 22, 25 millimeters long by uh, three millimeters wide. There's substantial problems with water overflowing out laterally on this side. There probably is on the right side too, uh, but I don't really know how to block the water that goes out laterally from hitting the um, charge port assembly. So I made the opening on this side a little bit bigger. I moved the uh, right cowl drainage uh, opening inward about um, uh, inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. Uh, I extended the drain opening. It's probably close to 18 or 20 millimeters by three millimeters now. So in summary, this is pretty easy to do and definitely helps with water management. Um, however, you know, if you get a very, very heavy downpour, uh, the opening, even if you enlarge it, is not enough to accommodate spillover. And so the problem, uh, still requires you to place some sort of barrier to keep the water from flowing forward in uh, cases of spillover. Um, there are substantial openings in the cowl, so if you get spillover over this lip, I don't think it's a huge problem, and it looks like it mostly spills over laterally. Um, so on the um, uh, driver's uh, charge port side, a barrier will keep it from going forward, but the problem is, is I'm not really sure how to stop it uh, going laterally onto the charge port. So my solution was to simply make uh, the hole up in this portion of the cowl larger than the one on the right. And 